Hey everybody, what you're looking at right here is what I figured right before and during throughout the holidays, uh, Black Friday digital sales right here. And it's kind of funny how they, uh, they actually hide it from you up under the deals. If we back our way out, you can see, now if I back out even more, See, it disappears. So that's like if you come in and you first get, you know, wake up or whatever and you turn your thing on and you ain't gonna see nothing here. I don't know if they'll show up later on today or tomorrow or whatever. But how I found it, I always like going through just looking at all kinds of stuff. I'm just curious. I mean, so I started at home, went through the mixer, then the community, and entertainment. And right there is where I found it. Just had me stumbled across it right here. I found it Black Friday. That's a Black Friday sales for the movies. I checked them out. They ain't so good. And I don't think the quality of digital movies can rival a 4K Blu-ray disc itself. But anyway. Oh, by the way. Marvel's The Punisher is now available. First season on Netflix right now. I'll have to check that out later on. Anyway. Yeah, so I would have missed it if I didn't see that right here. Well, I was somebody would have made it on YouTube or whatever. But anyway, we'll go to the store. And that's why I always come down, all the way down where right above where it says Browse Game, there's a little tab right here that says Deals. You go in here and it, it'd be right there in front of you. Look at Black Friday sales. There we are. It goes all the way through November 27th, up to 65%. Of over 400 incredible titles we'll come here and check it out all right uh, Call of Duty digital deluxe edition is on $10 off so it's $90 instead of $100 if you like Call of Duty boots on the ground you're tired of flying around you miss world uh, world at war or maybe modern warfare kind of stuff but just where it's on boots on the ground with war two theme and the zombies yeah I say you know, get it. Uh, if you like Destiny, Destiny 2 is $75, regular $100. I don't know anything about the sports games. Assassin's Creed Origin, it's all right, it's $42. That's that's a good deal. Uh, that's the base game, though. Uh, Madden, I know a lot of people are working and everything like Madden and everything. Base game is 30 regular 60 Uh but you know what? I want to show y'all something right here. Because this right here is kind of a catch. See where it says right here? Write a book. 50% off. Four days remaining. With your gold membership. So I don't know if you could call this a Black Friday sale. I think you just call this a extravagant uh, gold membership sale. And see right here? I think you can see that a little bit better now. To, uh, buy as a gift. Every one of these is buy at the as a gift but remember since these super sales you only can buy two of these every 14 days so basically within this time span it's, you only can buy two that's discounted for as a gift but you can buy as many as you want for yourself uh seven days to die that's another good one i wrote down prices so i went had to go in and out these screens because it takes forever that's nine dollars that's that's a pretty good deal i heard some good stuff about even within two, thirty dollars. That's a good deal. Uh, I wrote this down. Arc. Now this is gonna have the uh, updated graphics and the HDR, and it's thirty nine dollars. For now, it's a. Uh, uh, it was in that early access where you can get it. I think for thirty dollars or something. Or I got it. Man, the frame rate and everything sucked. I ain't had a chance to check it out on an X, but they say they improved that with HDR and I think updated the graphics. Uh, you can see the other one, uh, Assassin's Creed Origin. So each one of these being discounted by 10 or 15 or 20 dollars. And then all the old Assassin's Creed, like, I really don't care for. And you got your Telltale games. They always, uh, mark down because, you know, you play them once and that's it. So I think they should never be above 20 dollars. And most of the time they ain't like original 20, now 5 for Back to the Future. Batman, seven dollars fifty cent was twenty five dollars. That is crazy. Borderlands, handsome collection, nineteen 
dollars and eighty cent. I reckon that's an okay deal. Now let's see. I I wrote this down as nineteen dollars and eighty cent for the bio shop collection. So that, that's pretty good. Regular is gonna be sixty. So basically twenty dollars. That's a good one. Their base games, Battlefield uh, 4 and Battlefield Hardline, the cop game. They're just the base games. But basically, that's what everybody plays anyway. Man, the vanilla maps, the original maps. So for $27, you get two games. If you never play them, people still play them. So that's a good deal. Battlefield 1 Premium, $15. But why pay that when this right here, uh, Battlefield 1... Revolution is thirty dollars unless you already got the base game. Fifteen dollars is okay. Battleborn. I don't know really much about that. So Infinite Warfare, if people still playing it, base game thirty. If you want to bundle it in with the uh Modern Warfare, now these are gonna be these are deluxes, so that's a good deal right in uh sixty five dollars if people still play it, which I cannot tell you they are or not, but anyhow modern warfare by itself, thirty dollars. And this right here is crazy right here. This must be still super popular. Well you see it on mixture a lot, so it's gotta be. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 with the uh Zombie Chronicles, forty five dollars. And then if you want the season pass with all that, $75. So, I don't know. Cars. I mean, Cars 3 looked like it would be a good one for kids. I don't know anything about Dead Rising. I heard a lot. Of, well, I've tried. Dark Souls is this hard for me. And I took it back. $24. If you want the deluxe edition with all the season pass, $34. Well, there you go. Uh, let's see. Like I said, Destiny 2, and I bought it way back when, and now it's down to $39. That way we already wrote it down, so we ain't got to go back in there. Uh, this, if you want the game in an expansion pass, $68 compared to $90. I mean, that's a lot of content, right? So that's a good deal. All three Dishonored for $32. Dirt, I might, might not, I don't know. That's another drive sim like a uh, rally. Dirt tracks and everything, thirty dollars half off. Disneyland, that'd be good for my brother's kids. Basically, nineteen dollars and fifty cent. And I add on for that for another eight dollars. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, ten dollars. Game of the Year edition, so it have all the stuff on it. Never played it, but it's almost it's got four and a half stars. Doom, I wrote that down. It's twenty dollars, so that's a good deal. Twenty dollars for Doom, that's good. Uh. The Division, Tom Clancy Division, $15. I don't know if people still play it, but if they are, uh, you might as well go ahead and get the gold with Season Pass, basically $30. Dragon Ball 2, Z, and all that. I reckon that'd be good for uh, kids. Uh, Die Light the Fallen. Enhance the Dish, I think that's what everything. Basically $20. Elder Scrolls Online, uh, $10. I think the gold edition is the top premium one of Elder Scrolls Online is $30. I couldn't really tell you about it, but I know people do play it. Evil Within, $6.60. And if you want the digital bundle, I think that was Season Pass and all that's $15. Or Season Pass by itself, $6. And more of that. Oh, that's an excellent right here, ain't it? Elder Scrolls Online, more win digital collector's edition. I like Top of the line is forty dollars originally, eighty dollars. If you just want uh, the base game, is thirty dollars. F1 2017 racing sim, thirty-six dollars. That's right at five stars. So that's a good deal. Uh, I got four to seven, so I ain't got time for it right here. Fallout Four, I wrote it down. That's the base game is twenty dollars, and that's what makes me mad right here. <laughs> thirty dollars for the everything included if i wanted to pay everything included i'd have to pay 25 dollars why do that i guess i ain't gonna get it because you get the whole game for 30 dollars anyway far cry 4 16 dollars that's a good price i ain't played it yet far cry promo uh 20 dollars i have seen them two bundles sometimes maybe in the summertime or in the springtime or first year whatever both together for like 25 dollars so that was a good deal uh 
I don't know anything about sports uh, besides the football, but I reckon that might be a good deal bundle to get right there. For honor, I got the standard edition, and it, it's twenty-four dollars now on sale. But if you want the gold edition, when uh, season pass and all that, it's forty dollars. Forza Horizon Three, that's a beautiful game. Now they got upgraded. I ain't uh, made a video on it, but it's twenty-five dollars if you want the deluxe edition with all the cars and. Sixty-eight dollars, or if you don't want to, uh, if you got the game already and you just want a car pass, it's eight dollars. That's pretty good. Well, seven dollars fifty cent. Ghost Recon, uh, Recon Wildlands, thirty dollars base game. If you want the gold, might as well just go ahead and get gold, fifty dollars. And that just came out recently. And it's already dropped. It was originally a hundred dollars, and you get the gold for fifty. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, ten dollars. That's on Game Pass for ten dollars a month. You can get a free trial for, I think, uh, maybe seven days, maybe longer. Gears of War Ultimate, I mean, Gears of War 4 Ultimate, with all your season pass and everything, $39 originally, $60. Well, they already dropped that. And I bought Gears of War 4 when it first came out, and now it's already down to uh, $20. So, well, this is pretty good deal right here. Base games, Ghost Recon, Wildlands, and Rainbow Six base game, $50. I reckon that's okay. Grand Theft Auto, that game has been out since, I don't know when, what's it been, four years? It's still $30. Wow. Because it's still popular. You can still find people, on, especially Twitch, I think more than Mixer, playing that game. Halo 5 is $25. These are Deluxe Vision. Comes with everything. But, I mean, if you just want to play the campaign, you can get the uh, free membership, uh, trial membership. For the game pass for ten dollars, you can meet the mission in a couple of days. Campaign. Uh, Halo Wars two twenty dollars. If you don't want to buy anything else, that might be worth it. I have no idea about that. But if you want everything, it's fifty one dollars. If you got kids or you want to play with family, like Monopoly and all that, Family Pack, Halo Family Pack Conquest Edition. You got better. Uh, Battleship in it, Scrabble, Monopoly Plus, Risk, or if you want uh, kind of just a different variant, you got uh, Scrabble, Triple Pursuit, Monopoly Plus, Risk. Either one of these would be good for the kids for 12 hours. Where's that right here? Uh, I know I thought I'd seen it somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking something different, I reckon. Anyhow, lost train of thought. I thought I seen a better deal on that. Uh, I don't care about any of them. Uh, I mean, once again, you got, you got kids, the Lego games, they seem to like them. Some on 20, some on 30. There's a no one for 18. Life is Strange. I wrote that. I bought it when it first came out. $5 for the first season. $5. And then. Seventeen dollars and fifty cent for that. And I don't know. That might be good for maybe kids or teenagers. Little uh, little nightmares for twelve dollars. Uh, Mafia. I heard about. But I just didn't care about sixteen dollars regular forty. Mass Effect Andromeda. Eh, sixteen dollars. It ain't me, but might be for somebody. Your Telltale games, like I said, they all they they're dropping price real real quick. Uh, Mortal Kombat X eight dollars. Here it is, Monopoly Plus for seven fifty, or you can get the mother with the whole thing anyway for the other price twelve dollars. Like, it'd be better off just get the whole uh, all four games for twelve dollars. Mirror's Edge Catalyst five dollars. I mean, if you just want something to play around, two K eighteen NBA. I had no idea, but them some. Crazy prices, so I don't know. Bad reviews on Need for Speed bait, uh, Payback. That's what I heard. $36, though, if you want it. NBA Live 18, the one edition, $15. I don't know if that's good or bad. EA Sports, NHL 18, base game, $30. Overwatch, Game of Year edition, $30. Real popular game. A lot of people play it on Mixer. Uh, I don't know. It ain't my. I wouldn't play it. 
Well, I've tried, I tried to bait. I just couldn't get into it. Oil in the blind for us, $10. I heard that's a hard game, but it's a pretty game. So you tell me. Pinball, I just I don't get it. Rush, uh, Disney Pixar Adventure. Kids might like that, and it's nineteen dollars fifty cent. Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare Two, eight dollars. Hey, you can't beat that. Uh, Project Cars, two, forty two dollars. That's a good deal if you like. I don't know really the difference between that and uh, Green. Uh, Forza or Gran Turismo and all of them, but Prey twenty dollars. I reckon that's okay. Quantum Break. Now that's gonna be four K, HDR enhanced and all that for twenty dollars. And the base game for Rainbow Six Siege. That's an old game now. What three years old? Twenty dollars. Complete edition comes with a season one and season two for fifty dollars. But if you already got season one like me, you just want season two, thirty two dollars. And originally it's $80. They lost their mind. <laughs> they had lost their mind. Recore. I can't remember. Uh, let's see what it is. I, I already bought it again. We'll see what how much it costs. $15. And I mean, once again, you can gift all this stuff. So $15. Resident Evil Biohazard 7, $30. Rock Band, that's almost five stars. I don't know anything about it. $30 for the bundle. So I reckon you might as well, and the regular one is $9.90. Rise of the Tomb Raider is $19.20. Now that's, remember it's got the 4K and HDR assets. And then you got a little add on for $9.90. Rocket League, $10. Originally, I don't know. Uh, you got all kinds of these little, little cars for a dollar here and there. Bat the Future car, uh, Batman, uh, Superman car, Dodge Challenger car, Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, Skyrim. Now that's going to be having HDR and 4K sort of assets, I do believe, for $20. Originally $40. That's good deal. Rise of the Tomb Raider. It launched with Xbox One, what, four years ago, three, whatever it is. Seven dollars and fifty cents. I got the re uh, it looks really good. If you like them sword fighting games, side they look kind of from the side or sort of seven dollars fifty cents. Good deal. Sniper Elite. Let's see what that is. I, I didn't write that down. Sniper Elite Three Ultimate Edition. I want to say about fifteen. Thirteen dollars and twenty cents. That's a good deal. Nothing else you get uh, for your gamer score. State of the case, seven dollars and fifty cent. That's also on the Game Pass. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. I, you know, I, I bought that and I wish it didn't. It just ain't my kind of game, but it's twelve and fifty cent for the looks. So it's got to be way less than that. And then you got the Telltale Games and Tales of the Borderlands. That is free for a month from right now. Well, since Tuesday. Tekken 7, 4 stars, $36. Here we are. Titanfall 2, with everything included, $20. Or you can get that with Battlefield 1 Revolution, which was $30 by itself. Both of the games together, with all their DLC and everything, is $40. If you ain't got every one of them, that's a really, really good deal. Uh... UFC $16, uh, EA Sports, uh, UFC 2. This ain't my kind of game. Here we are in a Witcher 3 Wildlands. That's going to be 4K HDR for $20. The complete edition with all the uh, expansion pack, Wild uh, Blood and Wine, and Hearts of Stone, all that put together for $20. That's crazy. Isn't it? I wonder if they got that wrong. Because it's the same thing. <laughs> You'd be done to buy this right here, and we can buy that right here. And we go over here, and they got these right here for the expansion packs $10, $12.50, $5. That's crazy crap. You just buy this right here. 
Yeah, that's a good deal. Both young games for fifteen dollars. Wolfenstein the New Order and Wolfenstein the Old Blood for fifteen, or you can get each one of them for ten dollars. And this right here, I read it's a pretty good deal. It's been out just a few weeks. Wolfenstein Two the New Order. I mean the New Colossus. Digital Deluxe version, so it'll come with a DLC. Forty dollars. Originally eighty dollars. Remember now on, on Xbox One X, this will be four K and HDR. That's a good deal. If you like wrestling, WWE 2K18, $36. It just stinks for me. Here's one for the kids. Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. It's going to be 4K HDR for $19.50. All the bio shots right here, all of them are uh, on the Game Pass. Borderlands from the 360. No, all these will be 360. It'll be Game Pass. And them right here I own, so I don't, I can't, they're not on Game Pass. I don't think they ever be on Game Pass, any Call of Duty. Fallout 4, I got that when I bought about, uh, Fallout 4. But, there's a patch on it that's going to make it, uh, somewhat 4K HDR. Uh, anyhow, these right here, all the, uh, Gears of War, I got them for free when I bought, uh, Gears 4. That still might be available. Get them for free. Let's see how much Red Dead Redemption is and I'm going to get off the air. I've been going for a little while. $9.89. That's kind of... $10 for a game that's... God, what, 8 years old? Anyhow, uh... There's some good prices on here. Like I said, uh, they just brought that uh, gifting thing out just in time, didn't they? You don't gift out two every two weeks. So basically, you don't can give out, gift out two during this little sale they got going on. But yeah, that's, that's a good deal. And I might get a couple of them. Thank you for watching and have a good day.